Hello everyone. In this video, we will be solving a few sums on properties of whole numbers other than the distributive property. So, which all other properties we learned? We learned closure property, commutative property and associative property. So, out of these, closure and associative properties are used in solving sums in a faster and easier way. But before we go and solve these sums, let's understand one thing. You need to be very good at finding the pairs of 10. If you are good at pairs of 10, then you will be able to solve these sums faster. So what are pairs of 10? Pairs of 10s are numbers like 1 and 9. Because when I add 1 to 9, I get 10. So that's why we call these as pair of 10, 1, 9. So what are other pairs? These are pairs of 10. You remember these and look out for these pairs of 10 at the units place in numbers and you know which two numbers when you add them together will simplify your calculation. You can watch our other videos on the games you can play to improve your ability to understand pair of 10s. So here let's start with the sums. A commutative property is when you physically interchange the place of the numbers. And in associative property, instead of carrying out the sum from the left hand side, you carry out the operations on any two successive numbers other than the left hand side. Then we call it associative property. Let's do this. Find the sum by suitable rearrangement. And the numbers are. So now here, you see 7 and 3, they are pair of 10. Okay, so the moment you see 7 and 3 pair of 10, you get them close and the addition is going to give you a 0 at units place or maybe even at tens place. And that makes the sum easy. So the first step we are going to do is, we are going to make this 363 move here. Which property we have used? We have used commutative property. 363 went here, 208 went this side. So physically we have interchanged the position and hence we have used commutative property. And now we can add these two numbers. When we add these two numbers, we get, you can do that addition in your rough work and find out we get this number. Once we get these zeros, adding the next number becomes very easy and hence the commutative property has helped us in finding this answer. Let's take the next example. So now again, if we look at the pair of 10, 7 spare is 3 here and 8 spare is 2 here. So if I interchange these two numbers, I will get 2 and 8 pair of 10 together and 3 and 7 pair of 10 together. So let me exchange these numbers. Let me take this here and this this side. So which property I have used in this step? I have used commutative property. So we add this and we get 3500. Zero, zero. You can do that in rough work and find out the addition. Plus 453 plus 6, 4, 7. Now, if I add these two, it's going to get easier because again, 3 and 7 pair of 10, they are going to give me a easier number. So, I am going to use associative property and do this addition first. 1100. And which property I have used? I have used associative property. 35 plus 11 is 46, so answer is 4600. Let's do one more. Okay, now here I see 4 and 6 pair of 10s close by, so they are easy to add, so I don't need to exchange anything because I don't find pair of 10 of 3 in anywhere here. So I don't need to exchange them. So what I need, I need to add these first. So when I'm adding these first, I use associative property. So I'm going to use associative property and add these two first. 
so 313 remains as it is and plus it becomes 400 you can do this addition in rough work and see you get 400 and now it becomes easy 400 and 300 is 713 is my answer let's do some more this time it is a product we have 2 multiplied by 1768 multiplied by 50 you can see 50 into 2 is going to give you 100 and multiplication of any number by 100 is very easy so what we are going to do is first rearrange them like this now what we have done is we have physically interchange these positions so we have taken 50 there and 176 it here so physically interchange means we have used commutative property and that gives me and multiplying by 100 is easy write this number as it is and add these two zeros at the end so i get 176800 one more Again, we see here 4 and 25. Multiplication of 4, 25 is 100. So we want them close. So what we do is 4 into 25 into 166. We have physically interchanged them. For 25 we have taken this side. 166 we have taken here. So we are using commutative property. Hundred into one sixty six is one sixty six as it is, and these two zeros. Before I solve this sum, I am going to give you some trick. So these numbers, remember these numbers. Whenever you see a twenty five in your number, try to spot a four, because twenty five into four is going to give you hundred. So if you see twenty five in your product you try to spot 4 you will see and you will get 100 and hence the sum becomes easy same way whenever you see 125 try to spot an 8 so 125 into 8 is going to give you 1000 so your sum becomes easy so whenever you see 125 try to spot 8 now there are multiples of 125 like 375 if you see 375 375 is same as 3 multiplied by 125. So now if you spot 8, you get 125 into 8 is 1000 into 3 is 3000. So you get 3000 here and the sum becomes easy. So 375, then there is a number 625. 625 is same as 5 into 125. So again spot 8. Then there is a number 8. 75 which is equal to 7 into 125 so when you see these numbers 375 625 875 or 125 try to spot an 8 you will get the multiplication in thousands and that will make your calculations easy the moment i see 625 i want to spot an 8 where is 8? Is 8 here? No, I can't see 8 here. Is 8 there? Yes, there is a 8 in 16. Because 16 is 8 multiplied by 2. So there is 8 in 16. First, I will bring the 16 close to 625. So that will be what I have used. I have used commutative property. Then I am going to make this 8 into 2. So 625 into 8 into 2 into 279 and now 625 into 8 when i know 625 is 5 so it is 5000 5000 into 2 is 10000 and 279 into 10000 is we'll keep 279 as it is and add the number of zeros 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 so that is our answer we have Again, I see 125, I see 8. I need them closer. And I see 40 and 25, 4 and 25. If I exchange them, then they will come together. So, I'm going to use this. 
which property I have used here? I have used commutative property. Now 125 into 8 is 1000 into 40 multiplied by 25. Now I am going to do this first. Instead of doing this first, I am going to do this first. I am using associative property. So that gives me 1000 and 25 fours are 100. So again 1000. And 1000 into 1000 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 zeros. So what is important in solving these sums? The number of 10 pair for solving all addition related sums using commutative or associative property. And for product related sum, spotting those numbers. If you see 25, spot a 4. If you see 125, spot an 8. And there are other numbers for 125 which are 375, 625 and 875. So when you see these numbers, try to spot an 8. You must watch our other videos on whole numbers so that you have complete knowledge of whole numbers. Do not forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get notifications whenever we upload new videos. Till we meet again, bye bye.